When I was three years old, I had a horrible infatuation with my father's radio. I just couldn't stop licking it. Why? Because I would get electrocuted. And I would ask my father, Dad, what's electricity? Dad, what's water? And fortunately for me, my father is a civil engineer, so he could answer these questions. But for many girls worldwide, globally, and here in New Mexico, they lack an understanding of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, my favorite subjects. Here in New Mexico, there's a huge divide between women and men in STEM. I'm originally from California, the Bay Area, and I grew up in a family where I knew about this. But it made me to think, hmm, what about the girls here in New Mexico? So, I moved here a year ago and decided to pursue my career, hopefully to become a doctor, and come back and give back to girls in New Mexico. My vision, although I'm young, is to see and implement a program for young minority girls here in New Mexico so they can gain an understanding and a career in the STEM fields to give back to their communities and back to New Mexico. So first, I will introduce what an outsider and insider is for my topic, the need for minorities, visual visualization of this project, and what the satisfaction we can get from implementing it. So first things first, like I said, I'm from California and I'm a girl. I'm also a minority. My mother is from Tibet and my father grew up in New Mexico. And for me, growing up as a child, people badgered me and made fun of me for being a girl in science, destroyed my science boards, and made fun of me on social media. But here I stand today at UNM, hopefully going to medical school. And with that being said, <laughs> I know other minority girls and other girls in general here in New Mexico face the same problems, but we can tackle it. In a study shown by economics and statistics, more women who go to college will not pursue a degree in science and mathematics. The American Association of University Women, which I am part of, has stated in an article called Why So Few, and it said that middle school girls who are not followed through through high school and college will not pursue a STEM degree. Why is STEM so important? The electronics you hold in your hand, public sanitation, primary and preventative care is extremely important and it's what New Mexico lacks. And with that being said, how can our minority girls give back to their communities? There was a study done by Biomed Central. It was a qualitative study with 16 women in the public health field. And what they were looking at was women and their leadership qualities. And it didn't surprise me when it said, women focus on long-term sustainability. They look at the picture in the long term. They want to see what the effects can be from here and tomorrow. So it said at the end and the, and the conclusion, well, we can apply this to girls, um, hopefully in other programs. And it made me think, hmm, we could apply it here. So as I said earlier, I was talking about outsiders and insiders. I'm an outsider to New Mexico. I'm from California. My father was an outsider in Tuba City when he was working on the Navajo Reservation. But what he did as a civil engineer was to work on an initiative with the people. And it made me think when I grew up, I could be like my dad, but I could be a doctor. And I can change the lives of other girls and let them know you can be in STEM and be a girl and be a leader. Why are women leaders so important? Women hold the infrastructure for many communities. We've seen this globally. And we, we can see it here in New Mexico as well. Many of these communities lack, again, public sanitation, preventative care, birthing, maternal health care, nurses, civil engineers. And with that, these girls know what they need. They know, I grew up without electricity. I grew up without a doctor. I grew up without diabetes care. So what can I do to give back to my community? And what can I do here as an outsider to give back? An outsider is a person who wants to work with an insider who is part of a community or a culture. And with that, I can be part of this culture and I can give back. But what can we do? What can the young girls here do? And what can our professionals do? Our professionals and our young girls now can be leaders and mentors. When you go to the university and you obtain a degree, you have a qualification. Why not use it to the best extent? Why not give back to girls who don't have it? Which is my original goal. And with that being said, I know we're all here today to listen about all these beautiful talks. And we must really emphasize and see that women in these talks and women globally can make a huge difference. So I don't recommend you lick a radio like I did and get electrocuted consistently. But 
I do recommend that you join me in my vision and with other professionals to create and implement a program for young girls in minority communities here in New Mexico to obtain their degree and give back to the, econom to the economics of New Mexico as well as give back to the healthcare of New Mexico as well. Thank you.